Hi, I'm Mona with the Office for Mac group. In this video tour, I'm going to show you how to use the new Excel 2008 charting features to visually represent your data. Numbers can say a lot, but I believe that a chart can make them say a lot more. Take this simple revenue projection. It's pretty easy to see the upward trend from quarter to quarter. But let's select the data, and then here on the Elements Gallery, pick a chart. This 3D column chart seems like a good fit for this data. Now you can easily spot the quarterly trend and see the growth for each product category. If you miss some of the data in your selection, like I did, just point at one of these handles and drag over the remaining data that you want to chart. When you release the mouse, the chart updates automatically. And if you change any data in a cell, say your projection is higher for this quarter, Again, the chart updates right away to show the change. Right now the chart shows total sales by quarter. For a different look at the data, you can also show total sales by product. First make sure that the chart is selected. You click the chart's border to select it. Then here on the formatting palette, under Chart Data, click the Sort by Column button. And now you can see how well you expect each product to do for the entire year. I think I like the other view better, so I'm going to switch back to it. Whichever view you go with, you can add titles to make the chart easier for others to understand. Let's make the main chart title Revenue Projections, the horizontal axis Quarters, and the vertical axis Dollars. I'm satisfied with this chart style. But if you want, you can try out some of these other styles for a different look. You can also change the chart type at any time, but keep in mind that certain chart types work better than others for different data. By the way, if you want to copy the chart to another sheet or another Office document, just control or right-click the border of the chart, click Copy, and then paste it where you want it in a Word document, for example. If you want, you can also create a chart directly from a Word document or PowerPoint presentation. Like in Excel, you'll find the same chart types in the Elements Gallery. When you select a chart type, Excel starts automatically, provides some sample data for you to get started, and when you switch back to the document or presentation, you can see that the chart is inserted for you. To edit a chart's data from Word or PowerPoint, control or right-click the edge of the chart, and then click Edit in Excel. So that's a quick overview of how to use the improved charting features in Excel 2008. Be sure to check out Help and the Office for Mac website for additional Excel 2008 videos, courses, and content.